Plan break. Execute plan two. Repeat. Execute plan two. <laughs> Attention, state police units seven and twelve, two escape convicts, Barney Dawson and Max James, believe headed for the Hooterville Valley. for you, Kate. Oh, thank you. Anything for me? Get in line at the window. <laughs> if you want your mail, get in line at the window. Kate didn't have to stand in line. Kate don't write letters to the postmaster general complaining how I run this post office. What do you mean, Sam? Here, read this. Dear Postmaster Drucker, we have received a letter from a Mr. Joseph Carson charging that you operate the Hooterville Post Office in a lax and inefficient manner, which has resulted in considerable financial loss to him. Considerable financial loss. You probably lost your bubblegum money through a hole in your pocket, and you're trying to get the government to pay you back. <laughs> the considerable financial loss I was referring to are the rewards I could have claimed for the capture of criminals whose wanted pictures are put up on the walls of unlax-run post offices. And you wrote to the postmaster general about it? He charged the nickel stamp to your account. <laughs> Next time you want to mail a letter complaining about the Hooterville post office, mail it from Pixley. Uncle Joe, how could you do such a thing? In case you don't know how much reward money there is floating around, all I got to do is put the handcuffs on one crook. You haven't got any handcuffs. All you've got is that phony badge. What phony badge? This one. Member CIA. CIA? You know what that is? Chicken Inspectors Anonymous? <laughs> Criminal Investigators Alliance. What's that? An alliance of criminal investigators. <laughs> Men carefully selected for the fact for that... For the they... fact that they had a dollar and a half to subscribe to this. Honest Crime Monthly. <laughs> they give away that phony badge with a year's subscription. It ain't phony. Why didn't you subscribe for two years? You could have got a recording of John Billinger's last words. <laughs> In this issue, a true fact article. How I Finked on My Father. <laughs> she looks like such a wholesome girl. Is that my magazine? What's your name? You know my name. I forgot it. Rudolph Valentino. Yeah, there's nothing here for Valentino. <laughs> Maybe there's something here for Carson. Kit or Mindy? Joe Carson. Oh, Joe Carson, oh, you're the fella that wrote to the Postmaster General. Do I get my magazine? Get in line at the window. I don't run a lax and inefficient post office. Get in line. Okay, give me my magazine. Windows closed. What? I always close it at uh, 1121. Hey, when you get him. Oh, I don't blame Sam for being mad at you. I'm pretty mad at you myself, throwing away a dollar and a half on that junky magazine. Kate, even if they hadn't given me the badge, that's the best investment I ever made. If you want to learn how to think on your father. <laughs> it's not the do-it-yourself articles I'm referring to. <laughs> it's a reward notice that they print every month, given the names and descriptions of wanted criminals. And you expect to capture criminals in Hooterville? Kate, criminals are everywhere. Why, any minute, that door could open and one could walk right in. How do you do? If you'd have put them posters up where you're supposed to, I could tell you what he's wanted for. I beg your pardon? Uh, don't pay no attention to him. What can I do for you? Looking for the sheriff. We don't have one. Well, we don't need one. There's no crime in Hooterville. It's against the law. Isn't there any law enforcement officer here? Me. <laughs> I'm official. He's phony. What? M Mr. Drucker is the justice of the peace. Uncle Joe is... S -S Sam's man you want to talk to. Detective Sergeant Hart, State Police. Now there's a badge. What can I do for you? 
I'm looking for these two men. Let me see him. This is official state business, Sam. Write a letter to the governor. Sure, I mean looking. They're two of the toughest cons we ever had in the state pen. Had? They escaped three days ago. But, but, but you don't think they're anywhere around here? Sure he does. Thanks a lot. You wouldn't be going around giving them police picture postcards as souvenirs. <laughs> we had a tip they were heading in this direction, but don't worry. We've got the valley pretty well covered. Well, the uh, valley's a pretty big place. They could hold up almost anywhere. Fred Ziffel's, Ben Miller's. Best place to be the Shady Rest. That's Kate's hotel. Good food, no phone, 25 miles from town. Please, Uncle Joe, no commercials. <laughs> I advise you to keep all your doors and windows locked. Don't let any strangers in. Of course, we'll have to count on everyone's cooperation. Uh, how much reward money you give them for their capture? None. And you can't count on mine. <laughs> now, Uncle Joe is strictly a catch-for-cash man. <laughs> I wouldn't advise you to try capturing these men yourself. They're killers. Us Alliance men ain't afraid of nobody. <laughs> what Alliance? Show them your tin badge, Joe. It ain't tin. No, it uh, <clears throat> feels more like plastic. How'd you get that? The Alliance ain't gonna like this. C-I-A. Yeah. They still publishing that junkie magazine? I should hope to think on my father they are. <laughs> Sounds like Charlie and Floyd getting ready to pull out. Yeah, Uncle Joe, come on. I want to get back to the hotel. I just remembered there's nobody there, and I left every door and window open. Kate, maybe I better hang around here and give the sergeant a hand. You gonna let me go out there all by myself? There ain't nothing to be scared of. Besides, you got the badge. Come on. <laughs> if you want any advice, just drop by the Shady Rest. Be glad to give you the benefit of my criminal tendencies. <laughs> there's one in every town. <laughs> Here, this is man's work. Then you better let one of us go first. <laughs> you want them two convicts to hear us? We don't know if they're in there. That's what we're gonna find out. Joe? Shh. <laughs> Joe, what? Here, hold this. <laughs> Nobody in there. How do you know? I looked through the window. Kate, I wish you'd let me handle this. <laughs> There's nobody in there. <laughs> I'd be quiet in here. Floyd, you search upstairs. Charlie, you take the kitchen. What gives you the right to order us around? This. What's that? Plastic bag. It's tin. <laughs> member CIA. I once knew a fella as a member of the NRA. Would you fellas mind looking around? Oh, sure, Kate. Uh, you know, Uncle Joe, it, it, it just occurred to me that the dog didn't bark when we came up. Probably heard the news on the radio and took to the woods. <laughs> the radio isn't working. That dog's been in my newspaper again. <laughs> hey, boy. Boy, here, boy. You call me Kate? She's calling the dog stupid. Kate would never call that dog stupid. <laughs> Get on with your searching. Strange, I wonder where he is. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm tired. You gotta keep going. You want you want the cops to pick you up? Well, at least I'll get something to eat. I'm hungry. You should have stayed in the pen. You could have been stuffing your face with slops and gravy. Oh, cut it out, Barney. You're you making me homesick. <laughs> you want to get something to eat? Oh, yeah. All you have to do is follow the dog. He's got to get home sometime. Maybe he ain't got a home. Maybe he's on a lamb like us. <laughs> Which way, boy? <laughs> he's been saying the same thing for the last three hours. <laughs> All he's doing is trying to tell us to follow him. How do you know? 
Because I always watch Lassie come. Hey, maybe he's leaving us to the cops. I know dogs. This one ain't no fink. <laughs> you never know who's a fink. I was reading an article in Honest Crime magazine, and that crummy dame... Had Nobody a... calls my kid a crummy dame. Oh, you saw it, Barney. I, I didn't say nothing about her writing. You didn't? <laughs> okay. Come on, boy. <laughs> safer, those men on the loose. Well, I don't say there's nothing to worry about, but the valley is being covered by the state police. But they're not out here. Well, what if the convicts showed up? Well, I don't think they will. <gasps> oh, who, who, who's that? Who's there? It's me. Oh. <laughs> kind of stupid opening that door to a stranger. You'd ask me to show you some identification. I thought you were in the lobby. I was outside checking the premises. Why? Because he locked himself out. <laughs> Might have wanted in there the key under the front map. Uh, there's a key under the front map. <laughs> Uncle Joe! <laughs> I sure wish the dog would come home. Oh, no! What's the matter? Oh, no. Pretty good job of security huh? Well, Joe, what did you do that for? Keep the convicts from coming in through the window. Take it down. In the words of the Alliance, an ounce of prevention is worth two ounces of crime. What Alliance? That one. This hotel protected by the CIA. <laughs> Since when does the Central Intelligence Agency protect hotels? What's the Central Intelligence Agency? The CIA. They're going to get into a lot of trouble when the Alliance finds out they're swiping their initials. <laughs> Not as much trouble as you're going to get into if you don't take that furniture down. Okay. There's a right way of doing things, then there's the alliance way. Exactly. Take it down. Okay, if you want them coming in through the windows. Oh, uh -huh, they won't have to. As long as you're obliging enough to leave the key under the doormat for them. <laughs> I'll get it. Ah! Oh. It's us. Get him to show you some identification. <laughs> Everything all right in here? Yes, but you gave us quite a start. We didn't hear the train. We're rigged for silent running. <laughs> we ain't seen nothing of the dog, but we'll keep looking. Oh, thank you, Charlie. We'll check in with you after every run. Good. Don't bother. The Alliance is handling things around here. Oh, Kate, you know this is under the doormat. <laughs> We can have supper. It's time to eat yet? Must be the dog's back. Aren't you going to ask him for identification? <laughs> I'd know that unfriendly bark anywhere. Oh, well, maybe it's a cocker spaniel disguising his voice. Yes, him. Finally came home. Yeah, and he brought company. <gasps> oh, the, the convicts! <laughs> that stupid dog. Shut up! What peep out of you when you get it? Leave him. Holler. Stay where you are, Bundy. Uh, you can put your hands down, huh? <laughs> you run this joint? Yes, I do. Hey, what is it? It's a hotel. When did they condemn it? <laughs> yeah, uh, what's the handle, Bundy? If you're asking my name, it's Kate Bradley. I'm Barney Dawson. This is Max James. I'd like to say I'm delighted to meet you, but I'm not. You ain't gonna look any better with a fat lip. <laughs> Who are you? None of your business. When I ask you something polite, answer me polite. None of your business. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> They're my daughters. Well, you got names. Uh, Billy Joe Bradley. Betty Joe Bradley. Bobby Joe Bradley. Hey, they're twins. <laughs> and who are you? I'm I'm Chicken Joe Bradley. <laughs> Anyone else here? 
20 state troopers uh, upstairs. Uh, you leave my mom alone. Take a look upstairs. <laughs> you were uh, getting tired? Oh, <gasps> you big bully. Uncle Joe, do something. <laughs> If his friends at the Alliance could only see him now. Don't hit me. Joe! Don't hit me. Wake up. He's a real big help to Annie. Upstairs is clean. Well, of course it is. I scrubbed it this morning. <laughs> I mean, there's nobody up there. You know what they got in one of the rooms? This big white thing on legs. That's a bad tub. How would you expect him to know? Look, Blondie, no cracks. I'm as dangerous as the next guy. Uh, uh, you know, fellas, there's nobody here now, but they'll be checking in soon. We're expecting a convention of um, police chiefs. They, they, they just love this spot. This is a real busy place, ain't it? Very busy, very busy. Nobody's checked in here in five weeks. Yeah, but uh, y y you never can tell. You know, a, a, a convention could drop in at any time. Well, I, I remember once when J. Edgar Hoover showed up with 200 FBI men just like shut that. Shut up! I'm shut <laughs> Get this straight. We ain't leaving. But you see... The... Them woods out there are full of state cops. Yeah, but they're bound to get here sooner or later. Yeah, and then bang, bang. <laughs> and you wouldn't want to be caught dead at the Shady Rest. <laughs> We're staying. You're staying. <laughs> the police will get you. If they get us, we get you. Well, that wasn't bad. We enjoyed watching you eat it. Yes, took away our appetites. <laughs> that little one's got a mouth. Where'd you get the chicken? They got a market around here? They grow their own. How? From eggs. You mean they plant them? <laughs> you gentlemen done time at a prison farm? Come on. Everybody inside. Move! Move! We've got to do the dishes. Wait. I'd like to have another piece of pie. Well, cut yourself a piece. There isn't any more. Oh, sure there is. <laughs> Where's the knife, Kate? Okay, okay. Where's the knife? Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, inside. Inside. Come on, Blondie. Yo! <laughs> Everybody sit down. And no funny stuff. Where's the TV? We don't have one. You never seen the Beverly Hillbillies? No. Oh, it's a gas. <laughs> Take that skinny old crow granny. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. When we get out of here, I'll lock over a discount house and send you a set. Thank you. See anything? Ah, it's quiet like a, an outdoor undertaking parlor. <laughs> Where do you go for excitement? Hooterville. There you go with that mouth again. <laughs> That's the name of the town, Hooterville. The one at the other end of the track is Pixley. Pixley? Yeah, that's what they do for fun around here. They sit around and laugh at the names of the towns. <laughs> if it's fun, you want there's a pool table in the back of the barber shop. Yeah, why don't you go in and shoot again? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Pool ain't exciting. It is on that table. One of the legs is shorter than the others. <laughs> uh, the train go through on that uh, track you mentioned? Yes, right past the hotel. Does it stop here at night? Sometimes, but not tonight. Didn't Floyd and Charlie say they were coming back? <laughs> side are you on? Keep an eye out for him. Who's Floyd and Charlie? But, but, but they're just a couple of nice old men. And it's too late for them to come back tonight. Matter of fact, it's way past our bedtime. Well, good night, everybody. Sit down. Sit down. Nobody leaves this room, understand? <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? No. Why? Well, uh, Betty Jo is studying in it, and she should be doing her homework. Yes, uh, I have to do my homework. This ain't no time to be doing homework. If a kid has to do her homework, let her do it. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, no, small change. 
Uh, I got a daughter, too. She's a writer. <laughs> it's not a coincidence. Betty Jo has to write her story in Spanish. A story? Uh, yeah, a great idea, all about a dog. I'd like to write a story about a dog with an unhappy ending. <laughs> Shut up. What's the story about? M Mom knows it in English. I only know it in Spanish. Yes, it's, it's all about this lady who has a dog, but she can't get out. So she sends the dog to Senor Drucker with a note. And the note is in Spanish, and because most people don't understand Spanish... This is Spanish. Ayudenos los reos escapados. Help us! The escaped convicts have taken us prisoners. What? The story lost something in the translation. Maybe I didn't do time in a prison farm, but I did a hitch and a can of Tijuana. <laughs> I warned you that... Well, ask who it is. Who is it? Charlie and Floyd. Oh, uh, howdy, Kate. Oh, well, well, hi, Floyd. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Uh, are you the guys that run the train? That ain't Floyd and Charlie. <laughs> Kate, drop it. Right, get away from them. Pick it up. <laughs> Hold it. You shoot us, you shoot them. by the CIA. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Ooh. Well, anyway, the dog come running up to the store and started barking and wouldn't quit till we followed him. I told you the dog was a fink. <laughs> that dog's CIA material. I trained him myself. The dog didn't happen to have a note written in Spanish with him, did he? If he did, I wouldn't have been able to read it. You know, what I don't understand is how the dog got out. That's right. Everything down here was locked. The upstairs windows weren't. Well, you don't think that he jumped down from... <laughs> I guess he did. Sam, S Sergeant Horton, I don't know how to thank you. You better thank Floyd and Charlie, too. They helped answering in their own voices so you wouldn't get suspicious. Where are they? Outside. Floyd! Charlie! Yeah, Kate? Where were you when I was capturing them two desperate criminals? <laughs> Where were you? Well, I wasn't outside hiding. We <laughs> wasn't hiding. We couldn't come in. No, we lulled Sam and the sergeant out overall. <laughs> Lloyd Smoot! <laughs> This has been a Filmways presentation.